Hello and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV with me, Mioni. Today we're looking at the first rank up of 6.4 then for the Island Sanctuary and basically the upgrade of the Cozy Cabin. This is something I've kept my eye on and I've been looking forward to ever since I first saw in the live letter the slight change of some of the buildings and a little hint of what was to come, but I would have never have imagined that it would look this good. So once you have have the materials which is 15 island palm logs, uh, 15 island iron ore, uh, 10 island coal, 10 island spectrine and 10 isle islewood. Um, basically the coal and spectrine is from the new cave which you will be able to access uh, pretty much as soon as you log in at rank 12 if you were rank 12 before the patch came out or if you reach rank 12 in the future you unlock a cave system uh, basically in the mountain and once you have access to that uh, you can actually start mining coal and spectrine using one of the new upgraded tools uh, once you've got um, those materials and you talk to your cozy cabin which is the first building you can upgrade your entire area will change as you can see so the cabin itself turns into probably one of the most beautiful things i have ever seen i never expected it to look this good honestly it's just it's incredible there's like a greenhouse thing going on it becomes two floors the beds move upstairs there's a guest bedroom as well as a normal bedroom there's like little fountain foot pools, sort of spas downstairs um, the mammoths have their own desk with lovely screen shields. There's a lovely, like, um, swing seat. There's all sorts of things to sort of look at and see. And as much as I, you know, said earlier in another video, it would be nice to have housing items for indoor spaces. I think it means even more now because these spaces, whilst quite well furnished, would be even better with the ability to place indoors items. But you know all good things come to those who wait and all that so as you can see the bedrooms upstairs are fully lavish now there's lots of furniture in here uh, including bed plant pots a side dresser sort of like a carpet bit like a rug a beautiful balcony view on both sides this one overlooking my little little fairground area my little shopping center i love the little uh, details on this oh look at the moon shining through that glass isn't that beautiful with like all of the foliage coming through like a proper greenhouse and then all the lights i'm so glad i recorded this at night it really gives you a better sense of what this is supposed to feel like and the little plant it in the middle there with flowers yeah this is just it's just it's just too good isn't it really just way too good and uh yeah but not only does it just change the cabin it changes the area around so the entire hideaway including all of the landmark spots and area near your pets and all sorts of things now have this new really beautiful looking tiled flooring instead of the rustic looking concrete slabs before there are even little railings either side of paths upwards up the steps to places to grab a hold of little torches it's just really, really nice. It's the whole steampunk attitude towards things like the industrial revolution, the invent, like the innovation and discovery of coal has basically enabled your mammoths to uh, create some truly amazing things. Also, in addition to this, we also have the ability at rank 13 to upgrade our first other uh, other buildings, the granaries in particular. If your granary is at level three, you're able to upgrade that to granary level four if you have the materials. Uh, the materials in question are uh, 15 palm logs, 15 coal, again from the mine, uh, 10 mithril ore, and 10 marble, and 10 spectrine. So spectrine again from the cave. Marble and mithril then uh, come from sort of this area on the map. You want to hit rocks and your usual sort of like uh, green rocks as well as the sort of rocks with a striation, like dark rocks in the middle. Uh, those will give you the marble and the green ones will give you the mithril ore get enough mats and you can start renovating um i won't be able to see what the renovations look like until tomorrow morning so we'll likely do a follow-up tomorrow um talking about that but i am just overwhelmed with how beautiful the cozy cabin is and how nice even my really terrible attempt at housing items looks with my little fair area as well but yes let me know what you think about the uh, island sanctuary if you 
have completely changed your design plans now you've seen something like this and uh, whether or not uh, you're excited to see all of the other buildings upgrade. I know I am personally. There's lots and lots of potential upgrades and I hope they're all really awesome and steampunky. And uh, if I remember correctly from one of the live letter slides, one of them looked a little bit like the Crystarium. So I'm expecting lots of glass as well. Lovely stuff. Anyway, much love until tomorrow. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.